Welcome to DIY with Diamond Tech Co. Today we're going to run through a three-piece head style. It's one of my personal favorites. This is, however, going to be a pretty quick run through, so if you have any questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. So the first section we're going to do is the pole piece. That's the piece that goes right behind the ears. We'll need three strands cut at 90 inches. We're going to fold those over, clip them, and then start the braid in the center of the strand. I'll tag the more in-depth video here. If you're worried about potentially lining them up unevenly, I would add another foot to each strand just to kind of give yourself a little buffer. And remember to pull your slack nice and tight at the beginning of this braid so we get that nice triangled point. We'll braid that out for 30 inches and then cut and burn it. I'm using a half inch rope here, but if you plan on going up in rope size at all, I'd recommend doing a four strand flat instead of a six strand flat. So now we need our hardware. Here I'm using a one inch center bar buckle. You'll need two of these and two one inch Conway buckles. And this next section is just gonna be the cheek piece. So you'll repeat it twice. So for each cheek section, we're gonna need three strands cut at five feet. We'll fold those in half and attach them directly to the center bar buckle. And there we can braid out our six strand flat braid for 14 inches. Now the video I tagged before will show you how to cut and burn into a pointed end, a four strand braid, but just for the sake of the six strand, let's run through it here real quick. Ending the six strand flat braid is going to be the same as ending a four strand flat braid. We'll just take our two centermost strands and basically cross them together and then pull the slack. From there we can just cut and burn like normal. But because we're working with such a thick braid, we're going to want to cut this down and make a nice pointed end. So go ahead and take your scissors and moving back about an inch, go ahead and cut at an angle. You can do this one or both sides at a time, but you are gonna need something underneath you that you can put a slightly melted rope onto. I'm using a craft table, but a wooden clipboard would also work great. This part might take a little bit of practice, but the trick is to press down on the side and roll it over onto the top. So the end result of this is gonna be this nice, smooth, pointed arrow, and it's gonna make getting all of your buckles on a breeze. Now don't forget to repeat these steps with the second cheek piece, but after that you can just start putting it all together. We'll start here with our pole strap going through both of our center bar buckles, and then I am going to put my Conway buckles on here without a bit, but there are a couple things I want you to keep in mind. Double check the size of your bridle ring. If the braid is too big for your bit, you can add clips to the end, just like you would reins. To make it a quick change head stall, just be careful of the types of clips you use and the orientation so they're not digging into your horse's face. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and maybe subscribe or share with a friend who also wants to learn how to make their own tack. You can find us at all these places here and at diamondtackco.com we have some tack kits and some DIY guides.